Good morning. Hey, what's up guys? It's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I didn't post last week. I did take a week off. I didn't have any videos that were pre-recorded, so I just took the week off. I've been a little stressed out with getting back to work after my tummy tuck surgery. So, yeah. But today, we are going to get Botox injections in my bladder. Thank God. It's well overdue. I have to get my Botox injections every six months and we're at the nine month mark. So it's well overdue. Am I a coffee addict? Probably considering I literally want nothing more than just to drink a coffee right now. Make sure that when I get back from my injections that I don't have anything to do and my apartment is completely clean. So I did wake up early and I'm doing some laundry and I'm probably gonna do some dishes here in a minute. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I just want to make sure everything is clean when I come back. I wanted to give you guys a little update. Uh, this is an update while we're on the topic of bladders. I had my I had my appointment with my new urologist and they put me on two different vitamins that are kind of working for me. I've noticed a decrease in the amount of UTIs I'm getting. I'm still good. I'm still getting them, but I definitely noticed a major decrease. So the first vitamin she told me about was this Dr. Safe Urinary Tract vitamin. Um, it has d which is a common UTI preventer. Um, it fights off infections that are specific to UTIs. And the other one, this one is kind of expensive. Uh, it is $50 for 30 pills, but it's called Allura. And... The combination of taking these every day has definitely decreased my UTIs tremendously. I had to stop taking them a week before my tummy tuck and I could tell a major difference. I did end up getting an infection, probably because I came off of these and somehow got infected. Okay, so I just got back to my room. And I am all dressed up, ready to get this done. So really, really tired and really, really hungry. So we got the Botox, guys. Shout out to my mom for being here. Oh, her and I'm back home. Okay, so it's been probably at least 10 hours. I don't know. I don't know what time it is, but it's definitely been some time since my surgery. I'm about to lay down for the night and just relax, to be honest. Something I also wanted to mention that I forgot to mention earlier about those two vitamins that I showed you guys was those vitamins cater to the UTIs that I typically, the bacteria that I get infected with. So if you are struggling with UTIs, if you can, maybe ask your urologist or doctor, whoever you deal with, with your UTIs, ask them, you know, is there a commonality in the infection that I get? Do I typically get the same infections, the same bacteria? I can always tell a difference when I first get my Botox. They do say it takes about two to three weeks to take full effect, but I can instantly usually tell a difference. My Botox only lasts like six months. So that kind of sucks. I did want it to last a year. I was hoping for a little bit longer than six months, but it definitely did not last that long at all. They want you to have somebody at home with you after surgery that day, but I'm pretty independent. And when it comes to anesthesia, I've been on it a million times. So I just, I know what not to do. I'm not gonna drive. I'm about to go to bed at like eight or nine at night and yeah, but, but other than that, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next week.